Hi, welcome back. Have you always wanted to make a fresh, delicious onubu soup, bitter leaf soup? Go nowhere. Come, let's make this soup together. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. You are the right place. Please, please keep watching to the end of this video to see how I achieved this delicious onubu soup. This is a mind-blowing soup. Our mother as well as say kanteofe. This is not kansiofe. Kanteofe. If you're an Anambra, eh, you will understand what it means to be kantofo nugu. So join me to my kitchen as I make this soup together with you. To my old subscribers, you guys, thanks for always stopping by to watch my video. Here are the list of ingredients I'll be using for this onugu seed. This is my kokoyam. We call it ede, edole. That is my bitter leaf, my smith, my crayfish, blend with pepper, my stockfish, my dry fish. And don't forget, the game changing in this soup is ogiribo. If you need ogiribo, you must have your ogiribo for this soup to come out fine and very okay. These are the whole ingredients I'll be using. We'll be making this soup like the way our moms, our mom used to do it. We'll be setting the pot on fire. The first thing we'll be adding in is our, our meat. Here we have our meat and our stock fish. I'll be adding in my seasoning cube. Allow to steamer before I'll be pouring in my water. We allow this to cook on a medium heat until it's well done. I added in my salt and allowed it to cook. Did you see? I'm done cooking. I'll be adding in my dry fish. I didn't add in my dry fish at the beginning. The reason is this so that the stock fish the flavor from the stock fish can take over the the soup first before i'll be going in with my dry fish the dry, the, the dry fish is just to give it that sweet taste so i need i first of all need the flavor for the stock fish to come out very well as you can see both are well cooked and well combined it might not be the normal way you know how to cook onubu soup i went in first with my onubu this is the reason because you know some people used to cook their onubu first before they will start making their soup for this i will not be cooking my onubu i'm cooking it inside the pot because i know it's well washed so i'll be cooking it inside the pot to allow the flavor and for it to get softer to be very soft, I'll cook together, allow it to get boiled before I'll be going in with the other ingredients. I will cover to let it cook well. You are still free to do your other method if you don't like this. But with this, it will make my onugu very soft, my bitter leaf. When I say onugu, please pardon me, it's called bitter leaf to make it very soft. At this point, I'm going in with my palm oil. But I can remember growing up, we don't use palm oil cooking our onubu soup. Those days, we have palm fruits always at home. We we'll boil when juicing out the, the juice from the palm fruits. That's what we use immediately for cooking our onubu soup. We don't use oil. So, but at this point, I don't have a palm fruit at home, so I'll be using oil palm oil i added in my palm oil allow it cover it and allow it to cook well so that even if the oil is not a good oil the whole flavor and the whole taste of it will go out well so that is why you need to cook it very well at this point i'm done cooking this is my ogiri my ogiri i don't know what you guys call it but i'll be in the comment section to know what it is called in english all i know is we call it ogiri but i added in my ogiri will allow it to cook so that it will dissolve well inside this pot of soup uh, the next thing i'll be going in to add in now is my kokoyam my edori we call it edole what do you call it in your language we use it as a thickener yes 
and that is what i'm adding in i continue this process until i'm done with all my pokoyam do you see this is the last of it i'll be adding it and cover allow it to cook very well and that is it why allowing it to cook uh, what we want to achieve is for this cocoyam to dissolve to become a little bit liquid so we will allow it to cook and when it's cooked it will dissolve it will not be in this in this bold form the next thing i'll be adding at this point is my crayfish blend with pepper some people don't add crayfish they might add a lot of dry fish for taste but i'll be adding in crayfish too to my to my soup all is for for you to achieve a very wonderful taste at the end of the thing so i'll cover and allow it to boil as you can see it's boiling over do you see it still has those small small balls of cocoyam so i'll be turning i'll stir well as you can see i'm stirring well to enable it to dissolve the other cocoyams in still in the soup and do you see the way it looks i'll be going ahead to add in my remaining crayfish i didn't add all at once at this point my soup is ready i'll be checking for test at this point if i need to add in salt as you can remember if you can remember we added salt while cooking our stock fish and our meat at the beginning of the video so at this point check for your test if you need to adjust by adding in your um, maybe salt or seasoning cube but mine i used a lot of ogre so this ogre gives it a natural taste with all these ingredients like crayfish, dry fish, stock fish, it gives it its own sweet taste. So I am not adding much of um, salt or seasoning cube. At this point, our soup is ready. I'll be dishing it out to store in my freezer. This is a game changer. If you want to collect extra cash from your husband, try this soup for him and he will give you whatever you want. Do you see the way this soup looks? Wow, so yummy. I bet you I collected a lot of money from this soup. Will you be trying this? Please, I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, share. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. At this point, our soup is ready to be stored in our freezer. Bye!